there has been an incredible case of parthenogenesis, which of course you know what that is, Peter. Um, What's that? Yeah, exactly. That's one um, thing in, I haven't learned. No, it's immaculate birth. It means a crocodile has given virgin birth to a clutch of fertile eggs in Costa Rica that has oh, wow. never mated with a male. This is the first time in history we've seen this in a crocodile. I didn't even know crocodiles what? laid eggs, so that's that's wild. wait. So so how is this possible? <laughs> yeah, dude. if it's not something this species does, or it's not well, by the hand of God of all, Himself. Well, okay. So there's a lot of things going on here. So this has happened at a crocodile park down in Costa Rica. This crocodile has been completely isolated for 16 years, um, and all of a sudden, 14 eggs were found. Uh, fully fertile <laughs> eggs. None of them actually survived, but they were fully fertile. And when they opened them up, one of them was like a perfect clone of mom who laid them. So parthenogenesis <laughs> is a system what? that happens. Yeah, no, it's it's a real. Th- so parthenogenesis is what's called. It's a system that happens here in California. It happens in those whiptail lizards. Have you ever seen those tail? Those lizards with the long, skinny tails they have lots of little white spots on them. Kyle, mm-hmm. pull up a picture. They're Maybe. called teid t e i i d lizards in California or whiptail lizards. California whiptail lizard. And in times of stress, where females and males don't copulate, they don't get together, there's not enough resources, the female will just, well, they're, yeah, it's hard, they're, co- they're kind of hermaphroditic, but sure. let's just say the female will make a clone of herself in her uterus and lay these guys. Have you seen these running around before? Oh, yeah. 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 There's no I shortage actually have. Them. They're all yeah. over. Yeah. So the, in times of stress, the female will make a clone of herself and put that into an egg and lay these eggs and give birth to a bunch of clones. Now, this system is what happens is the cells, like you guys have seen all those old science fiction movies where one cell goes bloop into two yes. cells and then the two go bloop bloop into four yes. cells. It's exactly that. I remember that from like my herpetology <laughs> bio class. And uh, it's exactly that. The cells divide and they make carbon copies of themselves with no that's genetic p- diversity whatsoever. Um, that's crazy. But, that's known. We've known about that in a very, very few select animals forever. You guys know I always say crocodiles are perfect. They haven't changed for <laughs> millions and millions of years. They're perfect, right? Absolutely. There's a reason. This just furthers that point, right? It's like, right. look at these animals. Are, this, this is a crocodile. It's like, eh, I haven't seen a male for 16 years. I'm just going to make some babies. Bam. <laughs> just like instantly That's why reproduced. they haven't evolved. That's why they don't need to evolve. They can just do everything. They're just incredible animals. <laughs> just top of the food chain. Um, Dude, but yeah, it's so a big deal. It's a big deal. It's, it's so the, the eggs are just found. Imagine you're the um, the person who finds mm-hmm. these eggs. I mean, as as somebody not like me who understands animals <laughs> and biology and shit. I mean, Forrest, what would you do if you found these eggs? I think I wouldn't tell anybody because I I, <laughs> I would think it was a prank. Um, right. That's what I'm right. saying. Yeah. Or you think that's that someone's saying. gonna you're gonna get fired because they're like you clearly are pulling a hoax here. Like exactly. get the fuck out. Straight up. Yeah. But I also okay, wonder. So, so, oh no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, well, I was just gonna say. So is this? Are these that you said they're fertilized? That one had a perfect clone of the mother. These these are viable mm-hmm. eggs, and they're going Except to actually seven turn. of the fourteen. <laughs> seven of the fourteen were were viable. Have hatched. Which is or well, that's normal. No, no. They, no none of none them survived. Of, gotcha. None of them okay. survived. But they were viable. Meaning that so, fertilized growing embryos right, inside of right, it. right. Yeah. Did you Which know is that amazing d- during parthenogenesis that the that the offspring is always female? I did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's okay. the only way because they have to have ovaries <laughs> in order to continue the gene pool. So, you got the, it. So the female splits her cells and makes mm-hmm. a carbon copy, making more females. <laughs> the male can obviously not do that because they don't have. You know, repro- they don't have right. the capacity. Yeah. To, We're horrible yeah. in every species. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Are. We're getting canceled for some reason because this is somehow <laughs> sexist today. But um, you get what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> the, not. the males like, do not have the capacity to carry juveniles. So the, the sure. mother makes the carbon copies of herself. So they have to be female offspring, <laughs> which will further the, con- the, su- the survival rate of the species. Whereas... <laughs> Yeah. Males are always the first to go, right? And this is actually interesting. This is always this is the case in human war as well, right? As soon as we have too many humans, we create wars. And throughout history, not today, but throughout history, men go off to battle. And the reason yeah. being, you know, the reason being from a from a biological standpoint, you can have a thousand women and one guy and repopulate the earth. If you have, you know, a thousand guys and one woman, that's it, right? Like the, the, yeah. the that's. The, the um, rate of, of fecundancy, the rate of reproduction is too limited. So, yeah, oh, dude, bi- like, biology knows get, that. 
And you have a guy, you, you'll have guys who have fucking 30 kids. I mean, Don't if me. you're the woman, you're taking the brunt of all those. You're, you're like, what are you, you're not having any more than like 10. I mean, I mean, I'm, at, I'm sure it's possible, but it sounds Unless terrible. you have a TLC show, then you'll have That's like 14 true. or 15. <laughs> but I do always find it super interesting to like, uh, hear about these, these weird instances, like you just mentioned where us guys, like humans, we think that we can battle the way that that nature is in the way like our animal side but no at the end of the day no matter how smart we are with our brains and everything we still kill all the men first because oh yeah that's just what we do like that yep. that there's no way of getting around that and that is probably the way it is through the entire animal kingdom but we and think it, like oh it's like war because we're big and strong and we have to protect the ladies or some shit our minds it, turn it into like this whole string of thought where it's just really nature that's how it is and it makes sense it makes sense like 100%. Men, men are expendable they're males not men males are expendable <laughs> they're useless creatures you can always you <laughs> only you only you only need one to bring back a population whereas females are essential like you need genetic 100%. diversity one guy 100 girls no problem no genetic yeah. diversity problem nothing 100 guys one girl a huge problem genetic bottlenecking <laughs> civilization collapse <laughs> And those hundred guys would probably kill each other before any one of them was successful at reproducing with that girl. Like, there's just like it's a disaster. It's, what would yeah. you say if I told you that parthenogenesis occurs in humans? I'd say you're, I mean, you're obviously a quackola. <laughs> okay, but obviously well, there's some there's some merit to this. So explain. Well, yeah, I don't know it, what it, talking he, about. He's, it is he's, true. He's a known liar. So parthenogenesis <laughs> does occur in human females. Fact. Okay, explain. Explain. It's a it's the same sort of androgenetic event that mm -hmm. takes place in, in, you know, lizards and some plants and insects, except it, it never develops into a fetus. It just turns into a tumor. Oh, uh, interesting. Okay. But it's so the same maybe, process. That is, so, that is super interesting. So that's all I got. That. Oh, no, is go this, hold on. Before you do yours, <laughs> yeah, yeah, here, yeah. you'll like this. Absolutely. Is this evolution's <laughs> way of knowing that we will <laughs> undeniably kill ourselves in the next 200 years, we will eliminate human species, at least at least the male side of it. And this is like evolution being like, look, these things are so fucking stupid. They're going to wipe <laughs> themselves out. Like, let's just make it so that slowly over time, not tomorrow, because that's impossible, but slowly over time, women will be able to just replicate because when they rule the planet, things will be way, way better. So do you think that that's, Certainly that's like violent. evolution catching up? Yeah. Well, I was I was definitely nodding in agreement for like the first 25% of that statement because I was like, yep, that's exactly what I'm saying. And then I was like, oh, no, no, no. I, what my statement was going to be was that, I, like, I bet this happens then in all animals and then it just turns into some, because everything that nature doesn't want turns into cancer and kills the animal. Like, that, <laughs> that's just how it is, you know? Yep, very you true. You have an extra fetus. You have an extra whatever. I don't know what. Are um, you hammed? All right. He's hammed. Yeah. Listen to him. What do you mean? 